so what is going on everyone I'm in a boss with you here welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get or use Microsoft Office for free and uh, I'm gonna be showing you two ways of how you can do this which are very very easy and simple uh, so the first thing you're going to have to use your browser it doesn't matter if you're using either it doesn't matter whether you're using Mac or Android or Microsoft Windows it doesn't matter as long as you have a browser, you can be able to utilize uh, this option. So in this case, I'm going to be using, you can use, you can use Chrome, you can use, uh, you can use Microsoft Edge, you can use Safari, whatever you want to use. But in this case, I'm going to be using Microsoft Edge. So in that case, uh, so I'm already logged into, uh, I'm already logged into what I'm going to be using. So let me be opening the, uh, the private window or if you're using uh, Chrome you can use the incognito incognito mode okay so what you're going to be using is uh, office.com is the website you're going to be going to so when you go to the website it's going to be telling you get office or sign in all we're going to be needing is going to be signing in So when it asks to sign in, you can use your account. I already have an account, so let me uh, just use my account. If you don't have an an Outlook account, it has to be an Outlook account. So if you don't have an Outlook account, it's it's easy. You can go ahead and uh, create one for yourself. And let me let me just go ahead with mine. So it's very simple to go ahead and create yours. You can create one, and then go to next. Put in my password. it's okay so there you go so if you log into this and you've signed in it's going to be so easy for you to create a new for example I want to create a word document and uh, maybe a new blank I can create one so this is an online way this is a it's like like using this through so you can see it's just looks exactly how you would expect it so hello this is my test my testing okay so i can go ahead and go to file and then i can save so if you want to save you can save online and it will be saving into your account if you want to download you can download a copy or you can download it as a PDF or an as an ODT. I want to maybe for example download as a copy. So download as copy and it's going to have to download it into my my PC. Okay, file is going to be downloaded. So the other option is if you want to be working with a I can go back here. App launcher okay so if you press there you can give you PowerPoint it gives you all the options of these uh, applications of office so if you the, the other thing if you have a document already on a on your computer you can go ahead you have an option of uploading it uh, let's go to downloads uh, so I already have a document I saved let me upload it so when you upload it, remember I've saved it to my to my computer. So I'm uploading and it is bringing me the document here. As you see, hello, this is my testing what we used last time. So, and uh, yes, if you're good at PowerPoint or if you want to use PowerPoint, you can go ahead. So uh, Microsoft only allows you to use this this uh, the, the the office online but it will charge you if you want to use it like offline this I think this that's where it gets to charge you uh, going premium so the more uh, the more the more the more options that are being included in the the offline version but uh, if you 
if you you can go here to install office that's when you have more options if you're going to be going deep into editing but if you want something just to edit one two three you just have to go here just use it for free and you're done you can save it you can send it via email whatever so the second option is going to be a uh, the second option let's go to second option is going to be just go to your windows press start and you can find it here it's already for uh, if, if if your windows came with your laptop or with your pc it will be there office or when you click uh, the start button just type in uh, office application is there you can run it and open it still so you see uh, uh you can create an account or you see you can see the options that uh they give you you have 5 gb of secure online storage but i want to sign in okay so uh let me go ahead and put in my um Let me go ahead and sign in. Okay. Yeah, so I'm signing. Sorry, but we're having trouble signing you in. The, 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 don't worry about that. We can close this. Not supportive of applications unless I hear an organization. Why? Why am I not invited? So, I don't know why it's not allowing me to sign in. Okay, I have my account. account everywhere okay so I've been signed in here's your account everywhere uh, let's see if they're going to allow signing me in uh, let me see if they're allowing me because uh, I had issues signing in the first time uh, yes good afternoon there you go uh, I've been allowed in I don't know why it had uh, issues signing me in the first time Okay, so we've made some improvements. There you go. Welcome to your new office. We're glad you are here. Uh, you can go ahead and. Blah. Okay, so the difference between uh, the one the the one on the web browser and uh, the one the, the the one for the app here is uh, the one the one you've used for the application in your in your in your computer is going to be bringing documents that you already have in your. PC so this is a bit easier to use because you don't have to first upload your file from the uh, from from your computer it's it's going to just synchronize uh, all the files all the document files whether PowerPoint or what what files to this application so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section down below uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.